ladies and gentlemen. Chris and Lisa back in the car, and we are headed to Springfield, Massachusetts. Chris, where are we going today? Today, we're going to go and eat pizza at Family Pizza Europa up in the Forest Park neighborhood of Springfield. If uh, you've ever been to Bright Nights, it's on the same road. You just keep going up a couple of lights, and it's on the right hand side. Family Pizza Europa has been one of our favorites for a long time. We couldn't wait to share it with you guys, with you all, working on that, honey. And, you know, it's, it, to me, I think it's like a Forest Park institution for Springfield Pizza. So I know you guys are going to enjoy it. Come on along. I'm All right, we want to have two mediums, one plain cheese and the other one combo. And the combo here is just pepperoni and peppers, right, Ralph? Sure, sauce and cheese, obviously. Okay, I'm going to add hamburger. Thank you. Anything else? Nope, that'll be it. All right, buddy. All right. Welcome back, Pizza Fanatics. We're so happy to be here. Yay! I'm Chris. I am Lisa. And we are Pizza Fanatics. And today, as you saw on the way here, we made it. We are at Family Pizza Europa here in Springfield, Massachusetts. Yes. We are here. It is a, it's actually snowing right now. <laughs> it was, it was raining earlier. It was like 36 and raining. And now it's a big wet snow coming down. Oh my God. What a day to shoot, Lisa. Well, it's a wonderful day to eat pizza. It is a wonderful day to I eat pizza. I want to cozy up to this wonderful pizza pie that we just ordered both of them we did we just put our order in with ralph um the owner absolutely looking forward to our two medium pizzas what do we get on our pizzas today today we had a plain cheese staying tried and true true and tried tried and true tried and true <laughs> tried and true <trued. laughs> and um and then we ordered a combo at hamburger mm, dun 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 you know, thanks for letting me add the hamburger. It's, uh, you know, we did combo uh, on our last episode. If you tuned into our Capri pizza in Holyoke, yeah, Massachusetts, uh, we had their combo. And their combo does come with hamburger. Uh, here um, in Springfield, you'll find a lot of the places, um, their combos are just pepperoni and peppers, as, um, as Ralphie told us when I was ordering. So, of course, we add hamburg uh, because, you know, of course, I love hamburg and my wife, you know, she tolerates it. So, yay, hamburg. Do you like hamburg on your pizza, on your combo? Yes or no? I don't. So, uh, uh, we're really jazzed to be here today because, you know, uh, our first three episodes, you guys know, we went, and went to New Haven, right? We wanted to establish ourselves and understand exactly what type of pizza people think is the best pizza in America because we're from Springfield, we we're pretty keen on Springfield pizza. So we figured, you know, why not get established here, go ahead and, and, and visit some New Haven locations, and then take all of you along here to Western Massachusetts to try Western Massachusetts. Our local favorites. Springfield-style pizza. So today, being here, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use our favorite. I'm excited to be here, Lisa. I'm excited to be here as well. <laughs> I'm totally stoked also. I'm ready to eat. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten again today. So you know. And I'm, I'm going to eat some She's ready some to put pizza. it down. Yeah, I really am. I'm starving. So one of the things about um, this, this particular pizzeria is it's true to my heart. I've been eating here for a long time. I've had my birthday party here before the Springfield Thunderbirds hockey games with my entire family. Um, I love the pizza here. I, I really believe it's a quintessential uh, Springfield pizza. And I think that you guys are going to enjoy watching us eat it all. Um, a little history about uh, Family Pizza and Family Pizza Europa. Is it started in Springfield 1973 over on Dickinson Street. Dickinson street actually correct. uh it's and this is the second generation honey that um is making pizzas here so yes. frankie uh, frankie ralphie married yolanda and yolanda's dad gennaro was uh was the the originator of family pizza he started by making bread just like all of the famous italian pizza makers it started off by being a baker it starts off with the bread and and so he started back in 73 on dickinson he ran all the way up until 2007 there um, producing beautiful pizza that people love to eat here in Springfield and around the Pioneer Valley. And unfortunately, they had a fire uh, in 2007. Yes, and they had to move locations. They just came right up the street, not yeah. very far from, from where they began. 
Yeah, so there, we're over here. So now the location is on Sumner, the corner of Sumner and Whittier Street. Uh, so it's just across from the Bing Arts Theater from anybody who's from Springfield. And anybody yeah. who's been to Springfield for Bright Nights knows it's just a few blocks up from Bright Nights and Forest Park the on the X. right. The this X. is this is a this is a Springfield neighborhood gang, and I, and that's one of the nice things about this pizzeria is that you know, like I said on the way here, it's a Springfield institution. It's a Forest Park neighborhood institution. Um, a lot of pizza fanatics on the Facebook community love here at Family the Europa. The pizza's wonderful. And I think you're going to like uh, it when you finally come after the result of watching our program here. Hey, I just wanted to thank everybody for joining us back here, everyone from cable and YouTube. Love having you here. Thanks so much for all the positive comments and feedback on our last episode. Please keep them coming. Keep the recommendations on where we need to eat pizza next. We already have some good locations on the dock at least, so I'm looking forward to uh, our menu coming up. I'm very excited. <laughs> so just to let you guys know, if you see family pizza here in Western Mass, they're all related. Yes, the family is actually family. <laughs> it is family. Go yeah. figure. That was one of the things that um, I didn't even know, right? Because um, in our, our last post on Facebook, we had two recommendations to try family pizza in South Hadley. Yes. And I had no idea. They're like brother-in-laws. Yes. So, or, or uncles, possibly. So they're they're all in the family pizza, even in, in Westfield that we love. Yes. That you've seen some shorts on our Some of uh, my Instagram. favorite pepperoni and cheese comes from family pizza in Westfield. Who knew they're that they were actually family? We, in, you think we would have caught on with the, the family <laughs> Well, branding you know, <laughs> here in new england there's a lot of village pizzas but they're not all related right so i figured family is like a village pizza it's like a, it's a common name but here wow. in springfield and it this could be area, a different village whereas family i don't know it's a little little tighter there and there's a there's a fourth location down in windsor connecticut so that is just correct. gotta just gotta plug the whole family thanks for having us you know and yeah. uh if you're in any of those communities why not try their pizza and see what it looks like in comparison to here family europa in springfield and forest park so I'm Enjoy. excited. Uh, I think that um, we got to get some pizza shots in soon. Hopefully they're coming out of the oven and uh, get ready to eat some delicious Springfield style pizza. I am so ready, Christopher. Are you? I'm starving. <laughs> I am starving too. I'm starving, so. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank. All right, we are back, and we have the pizzas. I am so excited. I am so hungry. I am so excited. It smells good right here, you guys. I wish you could be. Oh, nice. I wish you could Sorry. be right here with us. You know what it is? She's excited. So it looks like Lisa is going for a cheese first. Let's see how we do. Look oh. at that stretch. Oh. Look. Oh, shoot. Look at that stretch. <laughs> Why did you do it? <laughs> I got too excited. I was trying to look at it on the camera. All right. That looked really good. Oh, and then I'm going to grab a middle slice. Oh, baby. I'll start with just the one. Oh, it looks so good. All right. Okay, here I'm we go. A combo. Smell of vision. It's very aromatic. The crust feels very soft. Thin, even, I'm going in for my first bite. It smells amazing here. It smells really good. Okay. Very nice. The cheese is delicious. It's soft. The cheese is, has a nice pull to it. The dough, the crust, the sauce, quite Quite pleasing. The sauce 
Now, you know that I'm a sauce person. The sauce is really good. It's not too overwhelming, but it has it. flavor. It's not that, that watery flavor. You know what I mean by watery flavor? You know. You get that water pizza. This is good. There's a good amount of sauce. However, cheese isn't falling off. I don't like when there's a lot of sauce and the stuff falls off. The cheese report is happy over here. It looks amazing. I'm, I was when you pulled that slice out. I something happened inside of me. I got triggered. I had the pizza trigger thing. God, did that look good? And I want to eat cheese, but I couldn't. Like the the combos in front of me, so I had to start eating combo. Uh, but I'm gonna get it. Tell me a little bit. Is the crust in the cheese as light, fluffy, and crunchy perfection like it is in the combo? Well, I haven't had the combo to compare it. However, I will say. It is light, <laughs> fluffy, <laughs> and soft. How's the pizza ass? Oh, check out that pizza ass. It's nice. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. I told you, we started something here. Hashtag pizza ass. All right, so I, um, I've got the combo here. I already took a bite. Let's do another one together. We got some pepperoni on this one. I need to get in on that combo. That tastes amazing. I'm going in. I'm going in. That has that, it has that Springfield pizza flavor that I was talking to you all about. It's why we wanted to do some of these episodes so you all could see how we eat pizza here in Springfield. And when you watch the shows on YouTube under regional pizza styles, for some reason, Western Mass and Springfield pizza doesn't, doesn't rate. We've got New London style. We've got, uh, you know, uh, South Shore Boston bar pie style. But no one talks about the Western Mass Springfield pie. This is it, you guys. It's beautiful. These are two medium pizzas. Oh, this is good. <laughs> is the, the, come on, the combo's so, got something. Here we are with our canned peppers. Love me some canned peppers on my pizza. I think they are canned, and that's what we like to see, right? They're red. I like a red pepper as well. Nice mixed pepper. Mm-hmm. I actually don't mind the hamburger, I'm going to admit. It actually is pairing very nicely on the combo. The, I know, I know, you heard it here first. The combo, the crust is equally as delicious as I just experienced in my cheese mm. bites. I like it. It's fresh tasting, right? It has a fresh. It's extremely fresh. It's not greasy, but it, it's moist. We will uh, we'll stop filming for a second and try to get some, once we get another middle slice out of each thing to get that center of the pizza uh, grease mm. to see how, how wet it is. But I was going to say it's moist. It's not super, super dry, but it's not like a drip. I don't have any wetness on the corner piece, on, I the, love on, it. The, on the crust piece at all. And I just want to, so why don't we talk about each thing, right? Because we're going to be coming up with a new uh, pizza rating system, sweetheart. And we're, we're talking about really the, the big ones, right? It's like the five big ones. It's the crust. It's the sauce. It's the toppings. Toppings. It's the overall, um, I guess, flop of the pizza and, uh, you know, the, the messiness of it all. I don't know. That was only four things. I don't really have this covered, do I? No. So <laughs> let's just stop talking about it. I'm working on it, gang. I promise. I mean, you should have this worked out by now. You were talking about this at Capri Pizza and probably in New Haven. Get your pepperonis in order, Chris. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to this pizza. So, I want a cheese slice. Okay. Pardon me, pardon me, honey. So, one thing that I'm noticing that we did is that I'm a lefty and he's a righty, and we should be sitting on opposite sides because this is like I want to eat, he wants to get a slice. Oh, life is really good right that now. That looks really delicious. Oh my Chris. god! All right, let me just let me just give you a little. It looks wonderful. It tastes even better than it looks. <laughs> so the cheese on the cheese is very, it has a sweetness to it that's really, yes. really pleasing to the palate. It has this little pull as you go ahead and uh, bite into it. And you know, again, I'm not a cheesy girl. I prefer like no cheese. But the flavor of it, it has a sweetness that's really coming through. So one of the things that, okay, so I, I agree, right? Honey, you're 100% right. This Good cheese, answer. Th good answer. <laughs> I learned that after 20 years, darling. This cheese pizza 
the cheese itself has this sweet something about it. I literally it just said that. It gets you right there. And sometimes you can't taste that with the toppings, right? That, that it has to be cheese alone. And, and that's why we, we ordered only. a cheese alone here at Family because we know it cheese, tastes really cheese good. Cheese alone, is that how it's listed? Cheese alone. <laughs> um, but the, the, the cheese does stand alone, Chris. Okay. I've <laughs> 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 the, so the cheese has a, a really good flavor to it. It has a, a little bit of a sharpness, I would say. And a definite sweetness. And I think that's that balance that we're, you're looking for in a really good cheese pizza. Um, it's nice pull on it and, and a really good count of cheese. You know, we didn't order extra cheese. Um, this is just a normal cheese You'll pizza. You'll never catch me ordering extra cheese. Mm. Never. All right. Oh, and you know what else is fun? Pizza condiments, pizza condiments. We've got our crushed red peppers. We love pizza condiments. Throw them on there. Oh, and we have some uh, Parmesan cheese. Maybe it's a Parmesan Romano mix. I don't know, but sprinkle, sprinkle. I love that. Reminds me of being a kid at uh, like Showcase Cinema. No, what, what was it called? Not Showcase showbiz, Cinema. Showbiz, showbiz Pizza. Showbiz Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of being at the cinemas. No, no, no. At Showbiz Pizza, because that was one place that you would always get the... Uh, Parmesan. I remember from a kid when I'd go out to the Boston area, we'd go to Papa Gino's, like and showbiz. Papa Gino's would have, uh, you know, the, the, the shaker. So I like that too. Let's let's talk a little bit about the crust. I want to really, you know, give the details for our viewers because I know that's why you watch the show. You, you know, other pizza f- reviewers are not giving you the details. This, the crust on this, uh, the first thing, the base of all pizzas, in my opinion, is the crust. This crust. Well, it literally is, Chris. The the base of the pizza is the crust okay hey, thanks Sonny. thank you for agreeing thank you for agreeing with me <laughs> you know it and both of these pizzas have amazing crusts a little bit of char on the outsides as you can see um just really well done you know not underdone not overdone just perfect right out of I'm the oven i'm not babysitting cheese i don't like babysitting the cheese on the pizza where you're like no i gotta hold on to it otherwise i'm gonna lose it mm-hmm. no cheese sitting over here I'm really happy. The thickness of this slice is perfect. The amount of sauce on this pizza is perfect. Really? Perfect. You're giving them a perfect. Mm-hmm. It really, you're going to say, I feel like it's a little saucy. I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I know it's perfect because... <laughs> we are always conflicting. So yeah, when I think it's... I'm like, oh, this is perfect with the sauce department. So th- that's when he's not having. He's like, "Oh no, it feels a little saucy." No, it's delicious. I'm I'm, gonna, I'm ready to move over to Sauce Town with you, honey. But before I do, I'm still stuck on the uh, crust neighborhood, and this the crust the the dough is so fresh, so light, and it has everything that I'm looking for in a Springfield crust. Um, it's it's a little bit thick, not too thick. It's airy in the middle and soft. It has a bottom crisp to it, which I you know I love the bottom crisp. Pizza ass. <laughs> it's got the pizza ass, and it's honestly, it's. I, I have to be careful what I say here, but it, it's one of my favorite crusts I've had here in Western Massachusetts thus far. I think it's great. It's definitely one of the best pizza I had today. Mm. Excuse my reach. Sure. Do you want the pizza spatula? We have tools here. Oh, this should be interesting. This is going to be a train wreck. Hold on. Can, here. Might you help me, sir? Here. Sorry, I'm putting your sleeve right in my face. No pre-cut on that oh, one. Oh, God. Bam. Okay, bam, bam. Well, Sorry. give me that little baby that fell. Okay, here we Look go. Look how cute he is. He's just like... He wants to be He's like an too. appetizer slice. All right. I am going to go for the middle. Oh, man, we've got to get some footage of this, too. Here, you know what? I'm going to turn it around. So here's the middle slice. And as we say here... Middle slices matter. You got to eat the middle slice of the pizza. That is the piece, of, the essence of the pizza. If it all goes wrong here, it's not going right anywhere else. That's where soup happens. In That's the where pizza. soup happens. So let's, right in the middle. Here we go. Look at that. And let's see. Let's do the test. Let's do the test. Flop. Oh, look at, look that. at the firmness look of that, that crust. See? It's going to stand alone. It's not running off the pizza. It's standing the test of time here. I'm not going to call it out, but we had a pizza recently, and uh, I picked up every slice. The entire top fell off of it. That's not happening. It here. was disgraceful. It's disgraceful. This is real pizza. Come on. Look at that. Here we go. All right. Combo. We got peppers, pepperoni, hamburg added. Mixed. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, this is freaking it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Mm. 
And then look, bottom of it, dry. A little, you know, a little bit, a little bit of grease here, right? That's but from you, the cut. But you need that. You need that. That's the sign of an excellently made pizza. It's a sign of somebody who cares about the product that they put out. They're not just throwing things together and uh, sending it out the door. So that's our family, Europa. This is we're having a good time. It's delicious. Thank mm. you. Other things that I would like to make mention of. The hamburger is really good. <laughs> I know. Come on, are you serious? No, I. You know what? This, this. You give me so much junk. I know. And she likes the hamburger. See, hamburger makes the combo, in my opinion. I wouldn't mind trying sausage Wait, it too. Does, it does not make the combo everywhere, though. <laughs> I'm specifically speaking to the um, hamburger here at family. I like it. I'm not signing up for for hamburger all around. All right. All around the world here. All hey, around the nation. Hey, we're two for two, gang. We, uh, we had hamburger twice. So uh, come on, Capri and here at Family Europa. Well, that's when I made that concession on film. That was last year. That was 2022. So this is your. This is so the this, one time I'm getting yes, this. Yes. This, this make a note here. You blew. You blew it early in the year. <laughs> But this was your January hamburger, so uh, better luck next quarter, baby. My birthday's coming up, and well, I always get what I want on my birthday. Well, you screwed yourself this year. You pizza. screwed yourself this year. You know, being here, actually, you know, I feel a little nostalgic because this is where I spent a couple of birthdays. And, you know, they still have some nice holiday decorations, Christmas decorations up, and it's snowing out. Um, we'll, get a, we'll get some footage of it to put it's it totally out. It's totally snowing and out. And on the way here, was pouring rain. And, you know, I love snow, and just sitting here... Relaxing with you, baby. With eating. me? It's a highlight. It's wonderful. I won't kiss you because you're eating pizza. Yeah, I've got a mouthful right now. It's the snow falling outside. This is kind of a special afternoon. Aw. Aren't you getting romantic and sentimental oh, over this come pizza? On. And you know, you know, one of the reasons I just, it, it just the last time you got all flustered and hot. Remember that? I did. Well, it's because you were talking all <laughs> naughty. Uh, so one of the <laughs> <laughs> the naughty talk. naughty talk. So one of the things that I realized the comfort level for me here um, during COVID, this was our savior. Um, they were so good to our family during COVID. We, we, you might know that we're total germaphobes, and we would live in bubbles if we could. Yeah, and we were still to this day. I'd like to be in a bubble, but <laughs> <laughs> a bubble. I bug. keep you there. So um, we would come. We would order on the phone. We would pull in the parking lot. Literally, uh, pop the trunk of our SUV or my mom. My mom, because she lives here in town, she we would, would drive make his over. mom do it because we yeah, didn't like, want to be that high maintenance. We're like, mom, pick up a family oh. Europa on the way over. So they would always. P- Cooked the pizza's perfect. They would go and load it into the uh, into my mom's car or into my car. Close the close the uh, hatch for us. Contactless. And you know, I just want to say uh, this is a little special thing. I hope that I hope that Yolanda and Ralphie here from Family Europa Family Pizza Europa watch this all the way to the, you know to this part of the show. I want to thank you guys. Some of the happiest times during COVID and COVID lockdown were as a result of your pizza. Because we, there wasn't any normalcy. And there was, a, there was a couple of months we couldn't even make our own pizzas because we couldn't even get flour from the grocery store. Remember that? It was freaking horrible. And there was the yeast shortage. And, and, and then they opened up. They were doing takeout. And we would come like once a week and get takeout. And honestly, that was the highlight of my week was, was Family Europa sitting around, whether it was outside on our deck uh, or in our kitchen. So just maybe that's part of the, part of the, the, the romance. Sentiment. Yeah, part of the romance that I have. So you guys don't know this. Um, but thanks, Ralph. Uh, we really loved your pizza all through COVID. It got us through. This bite's for you. Mm. Mm. All right. I like when I bite into a pizza and I get whacked in the nose with the pepperoni. That's a good time. Yeah, I had a little pizza shrapnel on that one. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's when you know you're going in because you're hungry. I'm shaking my head because it tastes really good. The, the combo... The middle slice, the middle slice, square slice of the combo, that's everything you're looking for. Um, Now that we talked about the crust, we talked about the cheese, um, let's touch on the toppings, sweetheart. All right, I need to touch on the toppings right now because actually (laughs) I was going to talk about that. So this this combo is quite topping heavy. And look at, it is holding its own. This 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 is something to note here at Family Pizza Europa. Nothing is falling off. I'm actually making the pizza bend because of the weight, but that's, that's the weight of the toppings. Not the, mm. the flop of the crust. It's not a knock on the grease. It's the weight of the toppings. I'm going to uh, go out on a limb and tell you now, we're not, we're not anywhere near done. Um, 
you should come and try Family Pizza Europa in Springfield and Forest Park. It's excellent pizza. And as you see in the restaurant, it's a nice place to come and eat. You can bring your family here. They've got a full bar, plenty of seating, and it's comfortable, you know. One of the things that we've noticed as we're here for lunch, everybody knows each other. These, the folks who Very run friendly. this place, they know everybody's name who comes here. They ta- answer the phone by, by first name and take the orders. I mean, it's a family place. <laughs> I guess that's part They're of the holding, name, right? Yeah, it's holding true. You know, I actually asked, true. I asked about the Europa part of the name because, to be honest with you, I always kind of wondered, like, family pizza Europa. Like, what... What's the Europa part? And he explained to us that, you know, they're European. You know, they're, they're first generation here in, in America. They're making this pizza. They're, they come from, you know, a European culture. So they wanted to put that into the name to let them know that it's not just a regular pizza place. You know what else I also heard? What else did you also hear? I also heard that the name Europa was a tad bit sentimental to the family initially because they own a condo. Down in Florida. And they go to the coffee shop that the coffee shop was named Europa. And that they liked the name. And they brought that up here to New England and said, you know what? We want to name our pizza place Europa. They wanted to have that. Those are are facts. Those are facts. And you know what? It's part of the sentiment and love. And, you know, when you start talking about that. Well, you look at me like you know, I'm crazy. You know, you're right. Because I was like, why are you bringing that part up, right? That was kind of personal, right, to the owners. But now that you did, I'm glad that you did. Look at her Am face. Am I going to be in the She's naughty pissed. spot now? She's pissed. So, so let me explain to you why I like that. We talked a little bit about in the pregame about the history, right? The, yeah. the, the father-in-law doing this baking bread and putting pizzas out. I mean, he was working at Smith & Wesson and doing pizzas. I mean, the, the, old, the old generation, they knew how to put in the work. They worked. I'll tell you that. And, and thank God, because look at what they've done. They've laid, they've laid out this beautiful path for people like us. It's a like family legacy. To enjoy the pizza. But when you talked about them bringing something that they love, like the name, so I guess that's all part of pizza. And why we love to talk about pizza and to share pizza with everyone is that it is a love affair. And when the pizza's really good, it's usually a result as the love affair that the owners have with the pizza. It's absolutely impossible to have great pizza and not love what you do and have some romance about what you do. And I think that's why here in New England, everybody is so passionate about where their favorite pizza is because it's part of their growing up and, and, they, and, and they know the, the love, right, that their local or favorite pizzeria puts into the food that they eat every week. Absolutely. Hey, I eat pizza every week, right? I mean, Friday night, it's Friday. It's, it's pizza it's night. It's Friday. It is pizza night. Oh, thank you so much. Thank extra, we got, we got backups. They're bringing in extra refills. Thank goodness. He knows that he's seeing me, seeing me eat the pizza. Thank you so much. This, hey, the service. Did here. we bring up the service? Did we right? talk the about service the service? Is just like they wait on your hand and Top foot. Notch. Top you want to come in? Um, you know, I know Saturday night, Friday night, very popular here. Not, I, I don't know if you're going to hit a line. Um, you might if you if you don't come a little early. I would make a recommendation to come. They also, you know, something I didn't get to eat here because the cheese is so good. Their fried mozzarella is a standout. Oh, it is. It is. And if you haven't had it, I recommend it. Okay, speaking of cheese, I got to go in. And you know what? Let's do a middle slice, too. Let's see what's happening here. Oh, God. It's pretty nice. How are we doing? Anything? Huh? Huh? Nothing's running off. Nothing's running off. Nothing's running away. It's not ending up on the plate. You're you not babysitting the cheese. Reassemble this thing on your pizza that looks like it did not come out of a pizza oven. I don't make pizza. I eat pizza. Well, that's not true. I do make pizza. You may see some of my pizzas on our mm. on our Instagram page. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Find us on Instagram. On, uh, on YouTube, we're NE Pizza Fanatics. On Instagram, we are the New England Pizza Fanatics. And also, since she's brought it up, that's a good point, honey. And you also want to join our private community on Facebook. That's under New England Pizza Fanatics. And go ahead and like and share our Facebook page, New England Pizza Fanatics. Because we're crazy about pizza. And let, while you were talking, I just have to bring this up, see if I can get it in the camera. Do you see that little orangeness? The little orange. The orangeness. The orangeness that we talk about. The flavor that happens between in the cheese with that little bit of char, that caramelization of the cheese. Mm. That, I don't know if that's where that orange, little bit of orange layer, that succulent, tasty I think it seeps. I think it of. seeps up from the sauce, but that's just my opinion. That little bit of extra sauce that makes the defining moment for me. 
I swear to God, my bus got off at Flavortown. That's beautiful. That was, I, I love it. I love it. I'm having a really good time. I'm almost getting the pizza sweats. It's getting, it's starting that, that feeling that I All get. Right. You must I'm have, like, you must have crossed over to your yeah. fourth or fifth slice because yeah. I know that that's the count that gets you sweating. Oh, I'm having a great time here. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> having a great time here. That's <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Bleep. All right. How you doing, honey? You look like you're starting to chug down a little bit. No, no, no. I'm deciding where I'm going to go. I think my bus is going to go back to Combo Town. Oh, oh, Combo Town. Sure. Look at the service over here from the Pizza Fanatics. Here we go. It's so hard to be a lefty. Okay. I see my slice. Go in. I feel like I'm going to fling it across the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just going to pull. I'm just going to pull this one over here. Oh yeah, a little, little choppy, choppy, choppy. Watch out, watch out, Chris. All right, I got it. Hey, I like the pizza trays. Pizza trays um, give you a little bit more room on the table. You're gonna need it because you're gonna order more than one pizza. At least we always order more than one pizza. <laughs> we know, always maybe. order one. How many pizzas do you order when you go out? Do you is it a one pizza event? Is it a two pizza event? Do you get half and half? What's the call? I like, I, I don't mind a half and half, especially if it's like a party and you got a bunch of people. But to me, I think that the way to really taste a pizza is to have it like we're having it now. I don't think if we had a large that was half cheese and half combo, we would get the same experience. So you may know how I feel about the half and half pizza. Yeah. If you have toppings, sure, you can co-mingle. But if you're going for plain cheese, the second you say, give me plain cheese, half pepperoni, the whole thing tastes the same, in my opinion. This is my opinion. The flavor of the pepperoni will, or any of the meats or other toppings will overtake this flavor of the cheese that we're talking about. You need a plain cheese, at least here for me. <laughs> I need a plain cheese here at Family Pizza. I was in the middle of describing my... Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> yes, I'm... yeah. So everything that he just interrupted and said was basically what I was going to say. <clears throat> Oh, Jesus, I'm going to be in trouble for that one. Okay. Well, you know, this might be a pretty good time to start wrapping up the show <laughs> before I start getting in any more trouble. You're awfully chatty over there, Chris. Oh. <laughs> it, but we'll chalk it up to the pizza sweats. It is. I, you know what it is? It's getting delusional. Sweetheart, I do. I get excited. I start. I don't know what it is. This, this is an emotion. I know what it is. You're a pizza fanatic. As an emotion happens, and this, it's like I'm excited. I'm, I'm going to use it. I'm pizza satiated right now, but I'm not over full. I'm ready to have at least another combo slice, uh, and and I think we're going to have to keep going. We definitely will have a few leftovers. Maybe we can do a little leftover roundup. We'll see if that all pans out. <laughs> I always catch her with her mouth full. Okay. I'm just laughing that you think pizza satiated is like a thing. I'm just like, what is wrong with you? Come on. Uh, you taught me that word, and I want to use it, so I sound I've taught you a lot of TV. other words, too. <laughs> anyway. I'm thinking words. <laughs> We'd like to thank you all for... No, no, we don't. <laughs> Come on. All I right. don't want to thank anybody. You don't want to thank anybody? No. <laughs> You're horrible. <laughs> She's horrible. You have no idea what I deal with everybody. <laughs> all right. Okay. You know what? This is great. I'm actually, I think I'm starting to get the pizza sweats. I'm getting all, whew, pizza hot here. It's Maybe hot. it's because I'm eating hamburg. I don't know. It's all of the meat. All right, so thank you so much for tuning in, watching the whole episode. I love that you guys are sitting at home watching it on cable television. Make sure you go ahead and, like Lisa said, go on YouTube and give us a subscribe. Hit the little bell notification so you get notified every time we do a pizza video. We do a lot of pizza shorts that get a ton of views that we don't really advertise. So go ahead and do Share that. Share the channel. Help Sh us help us grow. Share the channel. We want to grow. We want to keep doing these videos. I know you guys enjoy our pizza reviews and our pizza banter. Um, and go ahead and make sure you follow us on Instagram. And like we said, join the uh, community on Facebook and also like the follow the page on Facebook. Um, and if you want to have, if you have, want to talk to us, you can get in touch with us at any of those social medias. Just go ahead and send us a direct message. Uh, thank you to all of the restaurants who have already reached out to us and are interested in having the Pizza Fanatics come and kind of cover their restaurant. We're really excited to, to be able to do so. And we have a pretty good lineup of places that we're going to be visiting here. So I know I'm excited about what's to come. 
I am too. But before we talk about any of the future, we've got to talk about the beautiful present that we're involved in. And that's the folks here at Family Pizza Europa here in Springfield, Massachusetts. We want to thank you all, your family, your staff, everybody for making us feel so welcome and so accommodating. You've done a fantastic job. We walked in, by the way, the, as always, the restaurant was spotless. And the pizza was fantastic and is fantastic. And it's a great atmosphere to be here. So when you come in, make sure that you tell them, hey, I saw you guys on this Pizza Fanatic show. Uh, and let them know. And when you, when you do, take a picture of the pizza and post it up in our Facebook community so we can see it. And, of course, you know, we might be able to share it over to our Instagram. Because I know everybody, everybody needs a little help. And that's what we're trying to do here, honey. We're also trying to help local businesses. You know, people are coming out of Spreading COVID. The love. It was a tough time. And, and we want to make, we want to do something good, right? We want to have some fun. And, and I love eating pizza. So hopefully you all love eating, uh, watching us eat pizza and taking our recommendations as much as we like eating it and giving them to you. Any last words, sweetheart? No, I think you literally just said it all, Chris. <laughs> Why don't you say goodbye to everybody? No, I, I'll let you, you have know, the pizza I, last I'm word. just like, no, you. Do, is there not enough air for you now? <laughs> do you need a minute? <laughs> I love to talk. Oh, my God. He drives me, you guys. See what I live with? Freaking Chatty Kathy over here. I'm just like, have I even said anything this whole episode? Have I? I don't know. Other than, oh, this is cheesy, and that was good. <laughs> well, you'll talk in the next episode. Okay. <laughs> the next pizza place. You know, I do have my own YouTube channel, Blue Hour Lisa. I get to talk over there, so come follow me there. If you haven't seen Blue Hour Lisa's crazy uh, fitness videos, you are missing out. So go ahead. She's up at four in the morning working out. Go ahead and take, take a look at what she's up to. Yeah. Like I said, I get to talk there. It's my channel. Okay. We got to go. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye to everyone in a nice way. No, this was great. I always appreciate uh, my pizza time with you, honey. And thank you. Thank you to our subscribers and our followers and our friends and our new friends and family. So we'll catch you on the next one. Like, subscribe, share. If you have a choice to be right or kind out there in this world, choose kind. Okay. There's enough a-holes out there. We don't need another one. Okay. I like what you said. Choose kind. And uh, we hope that you enjoy your pizza. Yeah. We'll catch you on the next slice. Mm-hmm.